Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Uh, most global equity markets are staging a very slight recovery uh, today after a really terrible Tuesday and uh, a kind of a, a relatively volatile Wednesday. We've not uh, managed to break above potential resistance at 17.738. The biggest move I think we've probably seen has been in regards to the dollar yesterday, but there's been a slight bounce this morning. Maybe a little bit of profit taken incidentally because the moves have been so pronounced, but we'll come back to them in a second. So looking at the UK 100, uh, you can see this big move that we had there on uh, on Tuesday. This is yesterday's candle bouncing off 66.86, and we moved that a little bit higher this morning, which also coincides with the 55 period SMA. So that's that's one level to watch the tip of today's candle. Uh, while we're still trading between two ranges, you've got resistance there at 67.71, and that potential support at 66.86. Um, Japan 225 and we have seen dollar yen drop down to 121 so a little bit of a reverse on the yen actually um, there was a rate cut in South Korea last night unexpected uh, and there's a rate cut in, um, in Thailand not long ago so um, that's helping to, to, to push up uh, a lot of these uh, Asian equities as uh, that will add a little bit of stimulus measures to one of the bigger economies over in that part of the world so Japan 25 actually shows you on a little bit higher near recent highs and uh, we, we want to get above the tip of this candle here from Friday um, to get above 19,000 again that would be pretty pretty useful and we're at 18.942 right now so looking at dollar yen uh, retreating close to 121.87 which has been that, that resistance level for some time um, that's going to be a hard one to break especially after the dollar has had such a great rally uh, I think a lot of that uh, potential rate hike now is getting priced into um, the, the dollar and we've seen like a five and a half percent move on euro dollar in the last five sessions alone which is bigger moves than what we've seen even during the height of the credit crunch but we'll come back to that in a second so um it might be the case of over the next couple of sessions the the market might kind of catch up as it'll be perhaps been overdone slightly so looking at west texas crude is coming off a little bit now um trading firmly below 50 dollars so we're at 48 dollars right now longer term potential support 43.29 Goldman Sachs still has a $40 price target on here. You can just see that we're in about uh, 4737 as a potential short-term support. That was the tip of the candle there on Thursday and the tip of the candle from yesterday as well. Uh, pressure still remains. That stronger US dollar obviously not helping things. So looking at gold, gold's uh, staged a modest recovery on that dollar rebound. Um, so we are still looking at 1137 as being the next potential support level, but uh, it's not happening as of yet. And there's a whole host of economic data due today, which we'll talk about in a second. So let's have a look at that euro dollar position. Um, a real strong technical breakout. Uh, 102.23 longer term potential support. Parity not that far away. Uh, but we have had a very strong rebound. You can see it across cable as well, as people are taking some of their profits off the table right now. It's not that anything has, uh, has drastically changed. It's not like somebody's come out and said they're not going to be raising rates in the US sooner rather than later. It's, uh, it's simply there's been such a pronounced move for such a while, uh, and it's not surprising to see uh, a little bit of money being taken off the table there. And if you actually have a look at uh, uh, USD, we've bounced again. Uh, still a very negative candle from yesterday. We're a long way away from posting any uh, uh, bullish engulfing pattern for example today um, it'll be interesting to see how um, how short-lived this this kind of bounce will be so let's have a look at the economic data um, we do have industrial production in the eurozone we've got unemployment claims in America we've got retail sales in America so that's a 12 30 today because of the time difference uh, and uh, of course we had the crude oil inventories yesterday which were a little bit higher than expected as ever and if we fast forward on to Friday you can see we've got um, PPI and um, the consumer sentiment survey from the University of Michigan so to be fair the PPI probably should be interesting enough you can see I've got my alerts already set on here but today we've got that whole host of extra data um, to be aware of as well and I do believe there are there are some uh, extra announcements coming out from the ECB potentially today because today is 12th of, uh, of March um, so do bear that in mind so keep your eye on the chart form as ever make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next